What's going on guys? Terribly Tactical back at the tabletop for an EDC update. If you guys are new to the channel or you're new to the whole genre, EDC stands for Everyday Carry. It's the tools that we carry on our bodies or in our vehicles or in a backpack that's on our bodies or off our bodies depending on where we are, what we're doing, whatever it is, Everyday Carry. Things you have with you. You know, no matter who you are, if you're in the gun, you know, game or not, you're you're a gun owner, you're pro gun, whatever it is, you know, you, you like knives, you know, whatever aspect in life that you are currently, you have an EDC and you don't even know it. If you're just a normal person, I'm sure you carry a wallet or a purse with you every day. Inside of that wallet and purse, you could have credit cards, cash, maybe a spare key to your car or your house. You know, in, in, in the purse aspect, you've got you know, your lipstick, your comb, your brush, you know, your makeup, your whatever it is. You know, you got your car keys and on your car keys, you may or may not have like a little flashlight or, you know, uh, a lanyard, a keychain. You got your phone in your pocket every day, no matter where you're going. Those are things, that's your EDC. That is your EDC. Those are the things that you carry every day of your life. And you carry them for a reason because you need them to do certain things in order to get by in life. You know, you need your car keys to, to drive to work and go to the store. You need your house keys so you can get back into the house after you left. You know, you got your phone. You can call and in, the, in the case of an emergency or just, you know, text your friends or go on the Internet, whatever you got to do. You know, you need money. So you have your wallet to pay for groceries or, you know, to get food or go out with friends. Everybody has an EDC and this one's mine. Now, I choose to carry these tools for specific reasons, you know, for work, for protection, to help others, and to help me get through my day, get home safe to my family, and just be productive as a human being overall. I like being prepared. I like having the tools at my disposal that I need to take care of a situation no matter what that may be. So, we're going to talk about my EDC and why I carry these things and what I use them for. You guys that watch these videos know about this. Um, you guys usually like getting to the, the, the Gucci gear, the, the tactical stuff. So let's get through some of the boring stuff real quick. First off, like I talked about wallet, mine, uh, is just a simple Kydex molded wallet with a Ranger band on it. Uh, this is how I keep my cash in there. Just something simple. It's slim. It's lightweight. You know, it, it fits in the pocket. It works. You know, it's not going to get old and you know, messed up like leather or any type of nylon. It's not going to fray because it's hard plastic. And like I said, I just slip my money behind here. That holds it in place. Nice, slim, low-key design. So that's what I got there. A couple stickers on it, whatever it is. My vape. Uh, I don't want to be smoking cigarettes and literally paying money to kill myself uh, and literally watching those dollars go up in flames. So yes, while this still does cost money to do, it is better for my health, no matter what you guys want to say. I've had the same one for a long time. It's battle-worn. I literally have to, you know, keep the back plate on with a piece of duct tape. It is what it is. Good old 45, my favorite caliber, for a pistol at least. Um, it's a vape. Carry with it every day. I as well carry an extra battery. I don't have it in the picture right now because it is on charge. Because batteries usually, once you use them, they lose charge. Got this little guy. The Gerber Dime with some paracord on it. Paracord is a super useful thing. Uh, it's got a million different uses. But just, you know, for one, I use this to be able to more easily pull it out of my pocket. Um, that goes in the back right pocket. Just loose, hanging around. And then I, when I need it grab it out again this is the gerber dime i have a video on this entire multi-tool on my channel you know it's got a little pair of pliers it's got scissors screwdrivers a little knife you know it's very useful it's very lightweight it's small and it's really really handy especially this little guy when you got to crack a cold one so for the size the weight it's very inexpensive as a tool and i've mentioned many times before that i've used this quite seriously you know to fix some some serious problems that usually would require bigger and badder tools, it got the job done. So it's got a space in my pocket. That's the Gerber Dime. Lighter, you know, excellent to start fire. Um, we at work use these all the time. So it's a necessity pretty much. Plus, as far as survival purposes, 
Uh, it's nice to be able to start fire that easily without having to sit there with a ferro rod and scrape it and all that. So it's inexpensive, lightweight. You can get all different colors, designs, you know, on a Bic. They're, you know, just immensely useful. Going to the keys. Car keys, house keys, all that stuff, right? My Victorinox Swiss Army Knife, the Classic SD. It's got tweezers, a toothpick, scissor, knife, little screwdriver. Very simple, lightweight tool, but... In and of itself, it's very useful. Again, very inexpensive. And, uh, you know, this, it, it's, it's, it counts as a multi-tool. It's a Swiss Army knife, right? But it doesn't have all the capabilities that this does. But no matter where I am, if I'm going anywhere in my car and, or leaving the house in general, I have my keys. So on my keys, the way I have it set up, I basically have, minus a firearm, a whole little EDC kit in and of itself. I've got this little lanyard, high-vis paracord, so if I drop it in the dark and I have my flashlight, it'll help me find it. Or, you know, if I'm walking in the woods, orange like this is not necessarily a naturally occurring color for the most part. Um, help me find it. You know, I got my keys, all that stuff. And then, obviously, the, the billion of cordage uses that you have with paracord. You know, you can gut the inner strands if you really had to survive and make, you know, fishing line out of it. You could use it to tie up a tarp or you know, fix a backpack or, you know, just anything you, you can do tying things up and, and braiding things and whatever. So then we have the Rescue Me, which if you guys don't have one of these, whether you're a gun guy or girl or not, or, you know, you're into the tactical gear and all that stuff, this is super, super useful. For one, it's got a spring-loaded punch in the end of it. So if you get into a car wreck and you need to get out and you can't get out by just opening your door, you can put that against the lower corner of the window and it shatters the window and then you can climb out. Super useful. Also, it's got a seatbelt cutter. So if you don't carry a pocket knife or anything else like that, you know, you have the ability to extract yourself from a car wreck or, you know, you're trapped inside of a building. You know, you can punch the glass out with that given what kind of glass, it, you know, the window's made out of. It's useful. It's inexpensive. It's lightweight. Goes right on the keys. Then we have our Olight forget which one this is the i3e uh eos eos this is the copper one it's patinaed quite nicely i like that that's the specific reason why i got it because i like the old looking stuff it's 120 lumen little twist on constant on flashlight it's on the keys and uh between just my keys i have a seatbelt cutter a glass breaker a flashlight you know my keys i have cordage i got scissors tweezers toothpick knife screwdriver you know, just in my palm, in the palm of my hand right here. Now, that's quite a toolbox inside of your pocket. No, none of these tools are perfect. For certain situations, you definitely need something bigger, stronger. But most daily tasks, I can get by with just this. But two is one, one is none. I, I like being prepared, you know, for the worst out there. It doesn't make me paranoid. It makes me prepared. Also, on the wrist, G-Shock Illuminator. Love this watch. It's simple. It's durable. It's reliable. And uh, it works. On the other wrist, I have my Don't Tread On Me and then my Paracord Bracelet. Again, more cordage for all the uses this has. Also, this one has a compass, a whistle, and then inside of the band, it also does have a ferro rod, a fire striker, which does work. It's not the easiest to operate while it's put together, but in a survival si uh, situation, I'd probably break this thing apart and then be able to more easily scrape it and use it as intended but that will produce a spark which you could get a fire started with especially if you have proper tinder stuff like that the ubiquitous chapstick nobody likes chapped lips doesn't look good doesn't feel good lightweight it's got other survival purposes help sealing with wounds um you know waterproofing certain things uh fire starting you know and and making makeshift candles stuff like that and it's just useful pen decent writing pen this one is the taylor's and company check them out they make an, a lot of nice revolvers or work them over at least and uh it's just a good solid writing pen i have tactical pens i have you know the rick hinder investigator pen which is nice and uh i carry those in other ways but just a solid pen because i have a tendency to lose them something inexpensive i could still use this defensively if i had to you know poking into the neck the eyes the temples whatever but just to do paperwork i do a lot of paperwork at work and this is very very useful a a nice writing pen and then we have my kershaw launch six automatic knife 
So it's an automatic, you know, switch blade. You push a button, it flies out. Comes out with authority. It's a good knife. I got a review on this thing. Um, just with a little bit of stropping, I've been able to keep an excellent edge on this thing. It cuts very good. This is my cardboard killer. You can see it's beat up. You know, I carry it every day. Made in the U.S. CPM 154 steel. I like the black black oxide coating on the on the blade. You know, it's it's relatively lightweight. I've never had an issue with this thing. It does its job. And uh, for the money, it's a cool little auto. You know, I like it. Speaking of which, I totally forgot something. I literally just took all this stuff off my person to do this video, and I forgot one thing. My K-Bar TDI in the NSR Tactical Sheath. This little guy is my fighting knife, my defensive blade. It is the fully serrated version, so it's also useful in strap cutting, getting myself out of a wreck. Plus, it goes through fabric better. Most attackers are probably wearing some kind of clothing, especially here in Chicago when, you know, it's cold. They're wearing a lot of it, so it's a fixed blade which is optimal for fighting. It's a defensive blade. Obviously, I would never use this unless I was in fear of great bodily harm, injury, you know, or death, or in defense of others that were, you know, but that is an option. And knives do not run out of bullets. Speaking to that, in my back right pocket, I carry this. This is the Bastinelli Picor. It's like, you know, a half of a scissor, basically. And it's got retention with the retention ring that you can use, you know, to hit with, knuckle dust with. It also allows you to hold on to the blade. And uh, it's a little tanto, excellent for stabbing, puncturing. And it's in this Kydex sheath with not an ulti clip, but it works the same way. You know, same difference, and it works. It runs. It's all, all day long. This thing is awesome. I love it. You know, I, I've never used it, thank God, because I never had to, but... If I did, I'll have it. That's the thing. Two is one. One is none. Might be in a fight wrestling around with a guy on the floor. Maybe I can't get to this one, but I can get to this one. Maybe I can't get to either, or they came out. I lost them. I have this knife. You know, this I have no problem using defensively, um, but primarily the reason why I carry it is for just work. You know, cutting cardboard boxes, opening mail, string off my shirt, whatever it may be. You know, I have a tool to get the job done, and then I usually like carrying a backup because things break things wear out things get dull you know you'll run out of ammo speaking of that i've been carrying lately my glock 19 gen 5 it is hot and ready to go as it should be it has the glock factory night sights on it other than that just standard uh standard gun running the winchester ranger plus p's in there nice nice round uh, loaded full capacity with one in the pipe, so 16 rounds in the gun. This is the Harry's holster. I've been using this and carrying this a lot. I really, really like this thing a lot. It's awesome. It's well made. I got the whole kit with it, and uh, I, at first I was running it with the loops, but it's just easier to run it with the clip, and it still has more than enough retention. I practice with this with draw strokes and all that stuff, clearing the garment, drawing the gun, reholstering the gun. I've never had an issue with the holster coming off with just the clip on there, not the loops. Loops are better, but if I'm taking the gun on and off, depending on where I'm going, what I'm doing, you know, which I would only do if I had to do, uh, it's just easier and quicker with the clip. You know, it, it makes less of an ordeal out of it, and the clip's solid. You know, it's I've never had an issue with it as a as a reload. I'm also carrying the Harry's holster mag pouch, adjustable retention, same thing with the with the holster. You know, it's it's completely adjustable and configurable however you want. With another fully loaded 15 round magazine, same ammo, the Rangers, um, you know, Glock Gen 5 mag, and it goes in there. This will fit any double stack um, pistol mag. And obviously with the screws, you can adjust the retention. So right there is 30 shots for the Glock 19. And then, just did a video on this guy, the Lynx Defense Ankle Medical Kit. So everything is in there that's in the previous video that I just put out on this. You know, I have my tourniquet in this pouch, Rat's tourniquet with the duct tape. Then I have a Sharpie with more duct tape on it. I got a triangular bandage in here. I've got gauze and nitrile gloves in here. And then I have a third, oh geez, have a third... Always professional at the Terribly Tactical channel. A third Glock mag. So 45, 46 rounds total. Um, that should be good enough for social work. And then 
the next video coming up after this, I am going to do a video on my EDC bag. My backpack, Oakley Enduro 20 liter uh, 2.0. That is with me every day I leave the house, anywhere I'm going, given that I'm legally allowed to have it. You know, same thing with the gun and everything else. And that has more auxiliary kit in it. You know, backups to this. You know, more intensive things, more uh, gear in general, more medical, you know, more blades, flashlights, batteries, backups. You know, just reinforcements to my on-body everyday carry. So that will be the next video you see after this, kind of like a part two type of deal. But this is, as, as far as it goes, is my everyday carry, on-body everyday carry. When I leave the house, this stuff is bolted onto me, doesn't go anywhere, and I use it throughout the day. I mean, you guys look at this and you probably see, oh, you're Rambo, you're this, you know, you carry too much. I only carry this, that, you know. It's whatever, guys. I'm committed to it. I don't have a problem with it. If I leave the house and I'm fine with leaving the house carrying all this stuff on my person, then more power to me. And same to you. If you only want to carry, you know, one knife and it's your do-it-all knife, fine. If you guys want to carry a gun or don't carry a gun or whatever kind of gun, as long as it works, you know, carry it or don't carry it, you know. But I legitimately would not have a piece of kit on this table if I did not carry it every day with me. Now, yes, yeah, sometimes I might carry a different gun. Sometimes I might carry a different knife, you know, a different multi-tool, you know, maybe a different flashlight, you know, but I always have one of these things in each category, no matter what. I always got a gun. If it takes magazines, I'll have spare mags. If it's a revolver, I'll have speed loaders. You know, I'll always have a pocket knife. I'll always have a fixed blade, a multi-tool. And that's that, guys. A little bit of a longer video going over the stuff. Reference all the other videos. Every single thing you see on this table uh, right now, I do have a dedicated video about. If you're interested in any of the gear, check out the links below to the Patreon page if you want to help out the channel there. If you shop with the Forge from Freedom link below, it does give me a little bit of a kickback, which I appreciate. They got a lot of cool stuff over there. I'm about to put an order in myself for some stuff. And then please join the GOA. They're the only non-compromised organization out there fighting for our gun rights. Please let me know in the description what you guys think. You know, it, does your EDC look anything similar to this? Do you like what I carry? Do you have any suggestions? You know, should I carry more? Should I carry less? What do you guys think? What do you guys carry? Let me know. Those thumbs up really help, though, if you guys like the video. And please feel free to comment anything you want. Hate, constructive criticism, positive vibes. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for subscribing. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you on the next one, guys.